Hey guys, what's up? It's Ken Punch 12. Welcome back to the channel. Got a brand new video and a new thing I want to cover today on my channel. It's been a minute. Um, I've went over this video several times and I feel like I've all I've said in the previous videos, I'm just gonna skip it. Get to the point. If you're into fighting games, Dragon Ball Fighters has released today. And I'm super excited to play it. I got it last night at my local game store, picked it up, and I played about four hours into it last night. I played a little bit this morning. Uh, and I've got a video that I've wanted to do for a very long time, and that applies to learning a new, well, learning how to play a new fighting game in general. Um, and I've always wanted to do it. I've wanted to do it with Tekken 7 back in the summer last year. I never got around to it. With all that aside, I'm going to apply this in Dragon Ball Fighters. I'm going to break down certain things, how to do certain things, and why they're trying to teach you that. And I'm a beginner at this game too. So if you're watching this, stay tuned and look for further videos after this one of going over certain things in the game, explaining things, why they are the way they are why they want you to do this and what they're trying to teach you in the process um so with that said i'm probably not going to go over the basic tutorials i'm probably going to go over each character and their combos and um in order as the game has presented them i'm going to start out with that and i'm going to just come out with videos for each single character um and go over those combo videos and explain them in detail uh, to an understanding that I understand and uh, break that down to teach you how to do it if you're having trouble with it. Like I said, these videos are going to be geared towards beginners. If you're watching this years later and trying to learn how to play this game and you've already been playing it, like chances are you already know how to do this stuff or you've already done it. So this may not apply to you. Um, this will strictly apply to people who are learning how to play fighting games or who have played fighting games for years but never really took them serious and now they want to take one of these games specifically Dragon Ball Fighters and get really good at it. I want to show you the trials and the tribulations and the struggle and the plateauing and trying to get to the next ceiling. I want you to see those kinds of things and understand that you're not alone. All people go through this. Every single person in the world goes through this process and it's frustrating. It can be really hard to deal with. Um, sometimes it just is what it is. I will say this. Um, losing is not its not the end of the world. Uh, I was having a talk recently with some friends and uh, you know that's what's always discouraged me from learning new fighting games is that <clears throat> it doesn't feel like a game that I'm used to. So say for example you're a hardcore Street Fighter player like me or you're coming from a Mortal Kombat background, or you're a Tekken 7 player, and you never really dove or into another type of fighting game before. You've messed around, obviously. You like fighting games, and you've taken one so serious that you've gotten competitive with it, and you may go to local competitions, you might be competitive with your friends, you might go to EVO, you might go to Final Round, you might go to NEC, you might go to any of these you know, big time events and actually compete in those tournaments as well. But you never took on the, ta uh, the you know, another game. Um, you never took it serious, it never felt good to you, but now you want to take that leap and jump into something new and learn it from the ground up. The first thing you're going to have to do is accept that you're a beginner again. Even though you've played fighting games for years, that doesn't mean you know shit about <laughs> this game you're about to learn. Uh, you can apply things that you have learned in other games to this game, and that'll probably speed your process up. But until you can teach yourself the mechanics of the game, how the game works, and get used to it and learn how to play that way, you're a beginner. You're not going to know how to do that. Like I said, some people will learn fast, some people will learn slower. I am no versus type expert at all. I am not even an Arc Systems expert at all. I'm just like you trying to learn this game. So what you're gonna see me go through, 
you may go through the same thing that I'm about to go through. Uh, <laughs> so, only time will tell. But I'm excited to announce that I'm doing these videos. I'm not giving you any dedicated dates, so when these videos will release, I'm going to release them slowly as I get to them and edit them and post them on YouTube. And uh, it'll be it'll take some time. Um, I don't have all the time in the world to make videos. Um, it is something I really enjoy to do, and I have a lot of fun doing it. It's something I've always enjoyed since I've been in high, since, since I was in high school. And I made my very first video ever on Windows Movie Maker, and I was blown away, like how fun it can be, and how time-consuming it can be, but how fun it can be in the end, though, and having an end product that you can watch and share with everybody. It's really fun. So uh, I do this for fun. I don't do this for subscribers. I don't do this for money. This is not my job. I do this as a courtesy, and like I said, I do it for fun, and uh, I hope. I can teach you something and hopefully I'll learn something we can all learn something together um, it's something like I said I've always wanted to do and I think the time is now so uh, look forward to the future videos all that cool stuff I'm very excited to do this and uh, hang out with you I plan on getting back into streaming again eventually um, probably sooner than later I'm working on stuff. They've actually made a lot of big updates on OBS and uh, OBS Studio. Uh, there's the OBS uh, Streamlabs edition, which has a lot of bugs right now. So I'm probably going to stick with OBS Studio until they get some of those things fixed because I was trying to record a video with it and it just didn't work. But I love how the system and everything is implemented into one thing. So a lot of simplification makes a lot less headaches for me and lets me stream and hang out with you guys a lot more if you're interested in that and uh, whoever may be interested. So, yeah, I'm excited. Oh, and by the way, my last video was a Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite Collector's Edition. I got a lot of attention from that video. I was not expecting, and I am very pleased with the results. Thank you for the likes, the dislikes too, uh, all the comments below. Thank you so much. Um, I love hearing what you guys have say, what, what you guys have got to say, and all that good stuff. And um, uh, yeah, that game is to most people is dead. Some people still see it have a chance. I don't know. We'll see when the game progresses to the rest of this year, and what Capcom may have in store with it. Especially since the X Men license has been bought by Disney. That gives a lot of people high hopes for X-Men in uh, future DLC releases for the game. So maybe that'll bring life back to the game. Uh, I'm also going to do some more Street Fighter V content, especially uh, when Cody drops, whether that be April, May, June, July, or whenever he decides to get dropped by Capcom into the game. I was a Street Fighter IV Cody main, and I played Bison as well. But, so I guess I'll stick with Bison until Cody drops. But once Cody drops, I think that's going to be my main focus. And uh, so if you're interested in learning how to play Cody, come hang out, watch streams, watch my videos here on YouTube, and uh, whenever I'm able to release them, and uh, we'll learn together. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. This next video will probably not be as clear and as nice a uh, shot as this one is, I'm shooting this on my DSLR. A lot of the content's gonna be created through OBS and my webcam uh, behind me, so you'll have some one-on-one -on -one conversations like this with this camera, and then sometimes I'll be jumping to the other camera. So, still have the great audio quality, but the video quality will change. It'll still be good, it'll still be enjoyable. So, anyways, I'm Kim Punch 12. I will see you guys soon. I can't wait to uh, share a lot of this content and learn this new game with you guys. Um, so yeah, please comment down below, subscribe if you want to see these videos that come up in the future, and I can't wait to hang out and hear what you guys have to say. Until then, see you later.